Hello everybody, welcome to game number eight. This could be very tricky versus lizards. He's one and all. He's got a block and a sure feet. Um, he's gonna have a wizard as well, isn't he? Versus one runner, dwarves. <laughs> This is where we'd like the second runner. Hmm. This could be tricky. Yes, Dio, that's what Dimmy's done for about. 20 seasons now. <laughs> I wish Dio was still around. <laughs> that is the that is the that is the Dimmy Blood Bowl button. Oh man, right, so receiving and going for the draw, but the kicking me. Oh, I'm going to kick. I'm going to kick and go for the win. I need to use the Dwarf Lord setup for this, I think. You don't know the dwarf lord. He's the best. Uh, he's the best blood ball player. <laughs> dwarf player. <laughs> In the world, the dwarf lord. Right, this is good, at least, right? Because there's a. No, no, the Dwarf Lord is... No, this is just Chevron's defense. But uh, it's just... It's... It's... Uh, I shouldn't be toxic either. I won't be toxic. There you go. Zero salt, zero toxicity. Ignore that I mentioned the Dwarf Lord. Yes, Wolfbark. Yeah, but now he's got the Wizard as well, right? So... this may, That makes receiving not very good against the Wizard. So at least this, at least now I've done it because of the wizard, and not any other reason. If I can turn it over and get one nil up, and then like turtle to a uh, turtle to a one nil right against the wizard, that seems the best way to win. Disappointing that he got the reroll, because obviously with two rerolls and blockless blocks. Might have been okay. Instant removal, of course. That is the point of having armor nine and thick skull, of course, so this doesn't happen instantly every single match. Amazing. Well this is going great. Um yep. Well, so much for defending, eh? That's that's instant, instant touchdown scored. So what can we do? Try to uh, cause enough damage to. But I mean, the thing is, you can't try to cause more damage. Do you know what? I always find it hilarious when people like say things like, "I just try to 
I just make Kaz and like kill teams and it's like, dude, you can't choose to do that. Like you just can't. Because if you would, you would do that every game anyway. Like I think that's hilarious when people are like, oh, I just play to kill his team and it's like, why aren't you doing that anyway? Like, believe me, if I could do that at will, I would every game. I wouldn't just like save it for when I didn't like the guy or <laughs> whatever. Whatever idiot things people say. N not as good as me at killing people down. I, I had a higher black box bash rating than him. So there you go. Hello, Hammers. He's another guy who takes 10 years, isn't he? I guess not as, not as slow as the other guy. Ooh, that's good. I tell you what, lizard men are stupid, aren't they? It's like so, they're so stupidly strong. Like, even with all this guard, it's hard to get 2Ds against them. left a gaping hole, nobody knows. Who can say if there's a gaping hole here? You can't take it though, right? You'd have to hand off and go through. Didn't follow to base up the runner. Okay, interesting. Oh, because I guess because he'd stick on the roller. He doesn't want to get stuck on the roller gauge. Yes. on the crocs, that's not ideal, is it? Man, I hate lizard men. I'm, I'm not salty, obviously. I'm totally not salty. But they're hard work, aren't they? Having all strength for. It's ridiculous.
annoying non knockdown. Because if he'd gone like that, he'd just punch him in and reposition that one. He can base him, he can he go. No, uh, he can punch him. No interesting blitz. Oh my god, can't get him. Failed two seventy-five percenters. But at least now the push is not good enough for him. I guess I've got a dodge here because otherwise I'll get surfed. I guess I'm a punch. And this is what happens every time I uphill block, but never mind. Looking like a loss. Oh. Maybe if he'd won an 80 wand, not a loss. Space and he'll score early. I guess the good thing is that if he scores early, there's a chance to beat him 2 1, but obviously with a wizard, it's probably not going to happen. GFI, post reroll GFI. Why wouldn't he get away with it? And again, lovely. He does have sure feet. This one he got away with, though. And of course, he gets the pal. I had four dice in. 75% as don't get it. He nails him instantly. Well, of course he didn't have to, Hamas. But he did it anyway. Glorious, cheers, Sandwich. I got I've gotta do this, even though it's stupid and pointless and it's not even gonna achieve anything. up here, that's pretty decent. Wants to surf him, he can. He 
Morupa. I guess he can punch him as smooth as he has to get punched. Shut up, Kale, said he. <laughs> He'll just score when he get rid of the roller. I guess I should have received. Even against the wizard. Oh, I don't know. He's not going to score. Nah, it's not that risky, is it? Like, I think it's the right play, it's just that with the roller I expected him to score. To get rid of the roller, because people like to do that, don't they? Two stuns should be amazing, but <laughs> it's lizard men, so it's not even. <laughs> it's not even impactful. <laughs> Three, three, two, two to two D the ball. It's probably the right play, isn't it? That's a shame to use a reroll for that, wasn't it? Like, Pow could have been amazing because five times out of it. And in the end, his store was amazing because he cost me a reroll and got nothing out of it. Got Space Cadetted to lose a reroll. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hello, Hunter. I mean, asking for it, though, isn't he, Hammers? People can ask for whatever they want. I always find it funny when people say, like, so-and-so's going for £200. It's like, well, it isn't, is it? You know, people can ask for whatever they want. They ain't going to get it. It's sad that, like, a rookie Lizardman team is better than <laughs> a skill-laden dwarf team.
Safe moves at some point. <laughs> yeah, Dio, it really is the way. Like, how insane are lizards? Like, it's a starting lizard man team. And it's like dwarves with however many skills this is, and it still feels like horrendous. Once the roller's gone. And I guess the roller's equal to his wizard. So, like, they are equal teams, basically. But he, he even do something as well, didn't he? Like a beard or something. But still, the roller costs a lot. Basically, the roller's the inducements. Yeah. But still, the teams without the rollers just seem so horribly one-sided. I knew he was going to base. As soon as I got the push there, I knew he was just going to base the ball. I knew that was what we were dealing with here. <laughs> a ball baser. I knew we'd be dealing with a ball baser here. Oh, good. I didn't, I didn't realise we were going to deal with a 1D. Wow. Well, now we're not based by a Saurus anymore. <laughs> All right, I did not expect that. Interesting. Yeah, successfully space cadet. <laughs> Don't need a troll slayer? Oh yeah, I do need a troll slayer. No. A troll slayer wouldn't help, would it? Needed a... Needed the troll slayer here. I don't need a troll slayer. Fill in these two squares. Push him to there. Then he pushes him to there. Then he pushes him to there. Then you surf him. So could could surf the... Uh, well, can definitely surf this skin. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, he's protected him. <gasps> then he puts the fireball. The end of turn fireball. Oh, what a great play. What a play, guys. Got a player free here. Chasm. Blitz the skinks. 
The wise words of Reddit will not be denied. Do I tie him up? Maybe. He's round the back, isn't he? Which is okay. It's better than him because he can get free by the crocs. Finally going for the kills. Way. Going for his wizard doing absolutely nothing was a good tactic, wasn't it? Banking on the old 1 in 16 chance of his wizard doing absolutely nothing was a great strategy. <laughs> Perfect blood ball play. Yeah, I guess it's fair, isn't it? Yeah, his mayor all did nothing, so his wizard did nothing. I am, of course, the most nice man in Blood Bowl, never lucky. He's just going to go for a 1D, is he? He's got a dodge to tackle to get there. Or the Saurus dodge. Nearly did the accidental Crocs dodge. Not a thing with him. Neither do I, Wolf. Neither do I. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's a good pattern. Well observed, Dio. Yeah, I like the Saurus dodge way more than this skink one. Wow, he goes for it though. Mm. Nice, that's a one. But it could free him up. But I can just do it afterwards. Now then it stops them getting in front. I'll spray paint your ass. He could 1D him to get him out in front. Which essentially does the same thing. He can 2D as well. Oh, and then he could chain. Oh, okay. Oh, just killing the skin. Just simply remove all the skinks. What a play, guys. Oh, 
have to shop there. She won't find you stench anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out guys, you won't find these tents anywhere else. That's why the command is called tents, because yes, I didn't I didn't get it either. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Um there's a character with tentacles in League of Legends. Who was uh, spawning tentacles? French kiss, fantastic! <laughs> oh, I knew it'd be the first one. <laughs> no! I think I just skip. He can't hit anyway, can he? Seven, eight. <laughs> no, fuck no. It was, uh, it was... It was, yeah, there's League of Legends. I don't know what the character is. I don't know what the character is in League of Legends, but there's a character. There's a character that has tentacles, spawns tentacles. Hello, Pepe. Maybe, I don't know the name, I don't know the name. And it's super annoying. It's super bloody annoying. It's OP. It's OP AF. I should have just gone one there so I can't... Like, you can base me. I should have just gone here so I couldn't be based, shouldn't I? But then I didn't want the scatter in the crown. Oh, look at these. All these gamers know. Oh, brilliant! Cast himself! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> the Kraken Priestess. Yeah, that sounds like the one. Yeah, yeah, tentacles. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's a tentacle lady, so yeah, that's definitely the one. These apple fail as well. Amazing. Uh, amazing. I feel like I should, uh, I should hit the skink with my blow. Simply remove all the skinks, but I could also hit a crox, uh, Saurus with my blow, and then the crocs with my blow. Which is probably better, isn't it? I mean, this got us. This hit got us two more hits, one of which is my blow. But it would have been an AV break on the skink, yes. But you know, look, that, that could have been a Sarcasaurus, right? Which is way, way more valuable than a uh, skink one. Alright, good. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. They've been, they've, been yeah. they've been decent dice. I will defend. I will defend. Well, dice, Jimbo. Here's some dollars. Oh, thanks. I don't think I've, I've thanked the last person. Oh dear. Give me a second. I was reading it. I was reading a book when when Runvad and Backyard Dodo both resubbed. So, thank you very much, Runvad, for staying fantastic for four glorious months. A whoo beaver pregnancy, and Backyard Dodo for forty-seven months, nearly four whoo years, and nearly twelve beaver pregnancies. And Endwear GG, who I still can't. I can't remember now. I can't remember anymore the previous name. T Swizzle. 
for 12 glorious months, otherwise known as three beaver pregnancies. We're no longer in chat. Well, never mind. I got there in the end, didn't I? Oh, look at this. Oh. Four. Heat seeking missile blitz with mighty blow. No, but I'm going to definitely put him on the LOS. So you've got one, two, three, four, smash. Simply blitz the skinks. I've diced him, haven't I? Like hit skinks like three, three or four times, and Kaz too is pretty good. And then his, his GFI Kaz apple fail. Really nice. Oh man. Didn't Kaz dice? I did worse against an AFK. When he went AFK, he started to do better against me. Ooh. You've got the sneaky... Don't play your turn strong. He ended the turn. Now he's thinking about playing again, isn't he? So yeah, I didn't. I didn't believe that he was just going to pass turns. So I didn't want to go too crazy. But this seems pretty good. This is like locking a lot of stuff down. Up so many players. Blowouts. Maybe he'll be AFK. You never know. Can hand off next turn.
Okay. Oh, the Blitzer. Blitzer's on 13, but it's easier for Blitzers to score, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that's a good point, Team Antilly. Yep, getting this guy guard is much better. Very good point. Yes, very nice. I think give up on that score now, <laughs> with it being 1-1. Definitely not. Because what if, what if it's a failed pickup? Scatters there. Scatters there. Well, no. Scatters there, and then he's got to go one, two, three, four. Fails the pickup. Goes there, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. GFI. GFI. No, no. I'm just going for the pickup now. Yeah, I mean he can't foul me when he's got no place to do. It like he could have he could have made all the rolls right to get to a one D on the ball. So better to just remove that chance. However small it was. This is a strong though, aren't they? Unless, like, you randomly bang a few out. Well, he banged himself out. And then these were really lucky to get the cars on them too. And then he's obviously just gone AFK. Gone AFK without going AFK this, this game. He hasn't done full AFK. I guess now the foul has made him go full AFK. Right? No. Carry on! This is like this is just a getting away with going AFK by technically not going AFK, isn't it? I think it's okay to summon Gary and over this one. Do it anyway, because it's still like with no one in the
That's the one. <laughs> Glorious. And these fucking setups. If only Cyanide would like listen to me. <laughs> I could just make them the default setups for every race in like five minutes. But they won't listen to me, so Like what the hell man the default the default setups trigger me so much. That's where the that's gonna be the only salt on the stream is from the default cyanide setups. So terrible. Could there have been tackle on every square? Maybe. Don't really care. Yeah, he'd have to not do his own shit version of <laughs> chevrons, though. He'd have to use the real chevrons one. Kick off return over movement. Wow. On what? Hammers. On what? I don't know if it was possible to put tackle on every square. I guess it would have been better. Yeah, this could have swapped. Yeah. I guess he can't do the one turn anyway. A fling. I mean, I, I can't think of anybody where you would choose to go. I guess kick. So if it's purely for the, for the. Yeah, no, I can see the point. When it, if it's purely for the one turn. And he's the receiver, like he's the collector. Kickoff return can help, can't it? So at least I can see his thought process. Like if your literal only concern is the one turn, then I guess kickoff return could be pretty decent for that, couldn't it? Oh, he got the MVP. Two levels, at least out of three levels out of this game, I think. Glorious. Let's take card for a change. Thanks, Tibbon. It was also well rolled, wasn't it? The one in 16 wizard was pretty good. I mean, I know you can, Wolf, but at least I can see his point, which is, which is better than I can do sometimes with Rick, <laughs> like, like his thick skull thrower, you know, his elf throw with thick skull was one where, you know, <laughs> right. So maybe maybe get rid of a long beard and get a second runner, because two runs is pretty decent, isn't it? Like especially as people are going to try to score early to take out the roller, so then having two runners to run around and like get the touchdowns in, like both of these one-one draws were ones where the opponent scored early to get rid of the roller, and then if I'd had an extra runner, maybe I win those games, and then this one obviously was the same, so. Yeah, Hammers, yeah, the, the thick skull, the thick skull thrower really was, that was the lowest, that was the lowest, uh, <laughs> the lowest Rick move for, for me. <laughs> right, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like. Everyone who plays Norse in real life Brilliant. can just beat them to within an inch of their fucking life. Thanks for that. Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.